Hey there, challengers, and uh, welcome to 30 days of fitness challenging stuff. Um, so I'm Joe, I'm Joe Selby, uh, otherwise known as the Rocket Rider, and I'm hosting this event for the next 30 days. And what I wanna do here is real simple. I'm gonna play out, I'm gonna demonstrate, I should say, demonstrate uh, some moves, all of the moves that you're gonna need for the upper body exercises for this challenge. The way this challenge works is you're gonna have different areas of your body focused on each day. So, first day is gonna start with upper body, second day will be your core, third day will be your lower body, with a little bit of fun stuff thrown in for fun. And then on your fourth day is rest and recovery, and we'll talk about rest and recovery a bunch during the group. Uh, what I want to do now is show you how to do the upper body exercises. First exercise is called a wide push-up. Most people understand how to do push-ups. This is a wide push-up. It's a little bit easier. You've got a couple of different options here. You can do this one from your knees if you're not uh, particularly strong. Uh, you want to work up to getting up on your, on your feet though. Um, if you're really strong, you want to make it harder, you can put your feet up on a chair. The move's basically the same no matter what. This is what that looks like, okay? You get down in a push-up position, get your back straight, arms wider than shoulder distance apart, go down and up. That's a wide push-up. Like I said, you can do that one on your knees as well. Um, I'll demonstrate that quickly. From the knees, make sure your back is flat. Go down and up. Sometimes to judge how far down you want to go, you might want to put a pillow underneath you. That works great for second exercise I want to demonstrate is called the side tri rise. The tricep exercise, it's the back of your arm here. Uh, ladies, this one's your friend. You're going to get to love this one and hate it at the same time. This is an exercise you do, you know, if you've got a total number of reps, say there's 10 reps in the exercise, you're going to do half of those, so five on one side and half on the other side. So I'll demonstrate. Side try rise, lay down on the floor, your shoulder all the way on the ground. If you're on your right side, you put your right hand up on your shoulder, your left hand goes right into your armpit, and you push up. You don't have to lift your feet up off the ground or anything, you don't have to get up on your feet, it's just the movements from your hip, and the objective is to straighten your arm out. Do if it's calls if the day calls for ten reps, you do five on that that side and five on the other side. This one's special. It's a special exercise. This is called a burpee. Yes, you may have heard of this. There's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm going to demo kind of the tough version. But here's what you do in a burpee. You're going to go down. Kick your legs out, go down in a push up, jump your legs up, jump up. That's one rep. Simpler, easier version go down, jump up, stand up. You can make it as difficult or as hard as you want. You don't want to do the push up, you can skip the push up, you don't want to do the jump at the end, you don't have to do that. But you do need to do all the reps, do the move, and follow the form. Correct. This is another exercise a little bit challenging for me to demonstrate, to film. Um, this is a substitute for pull-ups. So any kind of upper body exercise is, is going to be either, it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be a push or a pull. Um, you need the pull as much as you need the push. So push-ups, yeah, obvious, everybody knows they need to do those. The pull-up part intimidates the heck out of almost everybody. And for somewhat good reason. Um, because it's not a thing that most of us are particularly good at doing. Uh, when I started out my own fitness journey, I couldn't do a single pull-up. Uh, I brag 
and I'm not going to put sugarcoating on that. I brag about the fact that I can do about 30 pull-ups on command. You walk up to me and tell me, you know, go up to the pull-up bar. As long as I'm not gassed, I can do about 30. That's a lot. It's a lot of pull-ups. I started off not being able to do any. How I got to where I could actually do some is a variation on this particular move, which is called a towel pull. So you need, for this, this is the only thing that I'm going to ask you to have a piece of equipment for, but I'm reasonably certain that if you bathe, you own a towel, so you should be able to do this. Um, please tell me you bathe. I might have to be on a bus near you at some point. Um, anyway, get your towel. I know you don't have a bar in your house. If you have a bar in your house, that's pretty cool, but why? Actually, I don't want to know. Um, but you do have a door. So what you do with this towel is you're going to wrap it around the doorknob on a door. Now make sure this is a sturdy door. If you live in an apartment building where the walls are like paper and the door is flimsy flamsy and the hinges are bad, it's going to be tough for you to do this. And I might have to suggest other alternatives for you. But most people, I think, have fairly sturdy doors. But you wrap this around a doorknob, and you're going to straddle the door. Lean back and pull yourself in. Pull yourself in. You know, lean back as far as you can. You want to put as much resistance into this exercise as you can. Make sense? If it doesn't, let me know. I'll try and figure out some other way to explain it. Um, now, if you've got a pull-up bar and you're willing to go for it, uh, go for it. Do pull-ups. There's nothing better. Push-ups, you can do a whole lot with push-ups and pull-ups. Anyway, that's the towel pull. You're going to see that one a lot. Okay, that's